Hi, and welcome to Pure Accelerate. I'm very excited to be here today and fill you in on a new feature for enhanced data protection for Flash Array. My name is Lisa Walker, and I'm a product manager at Pure Storage focused on Flash Array and data protection. So in today's session, here's what we'll be covering. I'll start by going into active business resiliency, what it is and why it's important. I'll go into the feature, overview, and how it simplifies disaster recovery workflows. And lastly, I'll show how this new feature fits into Flash Array's data protection portfolio. For businesses around the world remaining operational despite a failure, disaster, or a comparable loss-causing event is critical. Businesses should focus on building resiliency to protect against data loss and how they can get their businesses up and running quickly. They need a product that can bring resiliency to their business at nearly any distance while streamlining disaster recovery. A solution that is simple to implement and manage even when their business needs change, and one that doesn't require additional infrastructure. They need an integrated data protection solution that provides consistent operations and disaster recovery processes to accelerate their business response to outages. I'm here to introduce our newest feature, which enhances our data protection for Flash Array to build business resiliency with ActiveDR. ActiveDR is new in Purity 6 and provides simple and continuous replication that is designed for business resiliency. It's deployed between two flash arrays within the same site or across multiple sites. A multi-site deployment safeguards businesses against site-wide disasters or outages by protecting the copy of data in a physically separate and potentially distant location. It's engineered to be simple and built with disaster recovery workflows in mind. ActiveDR continuously and actively protects application data while providing the most seamless and simple failover process. And when needed, it's easy to adapt to changing business needs. There's no additional infrastructure needed because it's optimized to support both the front-end application performance as well as data protection at virtually any distance. With continuous replication, it doesn't use a double commit acknowledgement like synchronous replication, so standard or ne existing networking can be used. And with flash arrays compression on the wire, bandwidth requirements are even further reduced. ActiveDR provides superior data protection with a very low near zero recovery point objective, which means when failing over to a disaster recovery site, it can be accomplished with minimal data loss and it has fast failover and recovery for low recovery time objective to help businesses rapidly respond and get up and running as quickly as possible. And ActiveDR is able to protect multiple applications all delivered on a single integrated data protection platform, Flash Array. There are three core components, connected Flash Arrays, replica links, and a storage management container called pods. Pods organize storage items and settings such as volumes, snapshots, protection groups, and configurations into groups that can be failed over and back together. A replica link is a connection between a source pod on one flash array and a target pod on a second flash array. ActiveDR uses directional and intelligent auto-reversing replica links between pods. The connected flash arrays compress and continuously replicate linked pods content to maintain a near zero RPO for the contents of the pod. There's no additional licensing required to start using ActiveDR. Setup is a snap. Just four simple steps to configure and you're ready to go in minutes. ActiveDR's pod-based replication makes management simple. With pod-based replication, the entire contents of the pod is replicated, which means you can make configuration changes inside the source pod, and these changes are automatically available at the target. With no additional storage steps required, this makes DR failover events extremely simple to manage. When you fail over with ActiveDR, 
your target environment has the same configuration and history as your production environment. This alleviates the need to worry about configuration drift, spend time manually replicating configuration changes, or creating or resizing target volumes. Now, ActiveDR can readily adapt to changing business needs, so you can add new volumes, grow existing volumes, all while online. You can also take and restore snapshots on the fly. This is done while continuing replication. Monitoring replication and RPO can be done from either array or with Pure One for visibility wherever you are. And you can pre-connect host to the target pod volumes to make administration at the DR site easier and quicker after a failover. Once pods on separate flash arrays are connected together via the replication link, data in that pod automatically starts replicating. After the initial baseline copy is complete, ActiveDR automatically transitions to its normal and continuous replicating mode. The content in the pods will be tracked across the arrays. The target array content slightly lags behind the source depending on what the RPO is being achieved by the ActiveDR replication engine. ActiveDR's pod-based replication keeps management simple without manually setting or managing schedules. During normal operation, the target pod is in a demoted state, as indicated here with the gray box. In a demoted state, the pod's contents, including its volumes and its configurations, are in a read-only mode. In ActiveDR, pods are separate but connected entities, with the volumes in each pod having different serial numbers. This allows the target pod volumes to be managed independently and prevents host applications and multipathing software from mistakenly treating the source and target volumes as the same volume. When a target pod is promoted, the pod is considered active and the volumes are then made readable and writable. ActiveDR supports multi-directional replication for different datasets. Multiple pods can be configured in different directions between two flash arrays. Tracking the stream of changes rather than periodically performing snapshot differencing to drive replication enables ActiveDR to deliver extremely low RPOs. During normal operation, the source pod continuously streams the compressed data to the target pod. Using built-in and continuous change tracking, it automatically manages and stores these changes using Purity's native space-efficient technologies. Without additional space and complexities that traditional journaled solutions have, there are no external devices required, and ActiveDR is simple to monitor and manage. Designed to streamline disaster recovery workflows, a manual failover is quick and easy to perform. Simply promote the target pod at the DR site, which activates it to be writable to applications and also triggers the failover. The volume content presented to the host and at their applications will be at the point in time of the last successful replication transfer. Before applications are started at the DR site, the DR host OS must unmount or remount the file system. This ensures that any host file system caching, IO buffering, or application caches are cleared and do not contain stale or invalid data. During a DR test, ActiveDR will continue replicating in the background from the source to the target pod so RPO isn't compromised. When failover of testing is complete, simply end the test by demoting the target pod. This causes any test data written to that pod to be discarded. Replicated content from the source during the DR test will automatically be available at the target pod. A single command is used for failing over for both DR testing and actual DR events. This streamlines DR workflows and makes administration easier, quicker, and consistent for orchestrating or automating via scripts or APIs. A real failover workflow follows the same initial steps as the test failover by promoting the target pod at the DR site. However, when the original production site has returned to service, the ability to reprotect the data is often required. This is done by replicating data from what is now the temporary production pod, pod 2 in this example, 
back to the restored flash array at pod one. First, you need to ensure that there are no production applications running at the original production site. Then, simply demote the original source pod on Flash Array by selecting the Skip Quies option. This will make the original source pod volumes Pod 1 read only and will reverse the direction of replication. When demoting a pod that is the source of a replica link while the target pod is promoted, ActiveDR will automatically reverse replication to ensure that the new application data at the other site is immediately protected. This eliminates risk associated with manual processes and automates the reversal of replication relationships. To go back to the original production orientation, which is from the production site, pod 1, to the DR site at pod 2, a planned failback is used. The failback is done using a planned process that assumes applications can be gracefully shut down before active DR failback is performed. After shutting down the applications at the DR site, the original target pod, pod 2 in this example, can be demoted and the original source pod, pod 1, promoted before starting up the applications at the production site. Again, the replication direction will be automatically reversed. Although ActiveDR's primary use case of disaster recovery is to ensure business resiliency in the event of unplanned outages, the same type of planned process can be used for a planned failover during scheduled maintenance or even for migration between sites without extended downtime. ActiveDR makes workflows such as test failover, real failover, resync and failback simple and easy to perform. Pure Storage Flash Array has a wide range of data protection and availability features built in, so you can easily create an integrated data protection strategy. Lightweight and immutable snapshots are used to protect data on your local Flash Array for long-term data archive to cloud or NFS targets, as well as for periodic offsite copies. Active Cluster, on the other hand, provides fully synchronous replication with automatic and real-time array failover for business continuity within the same campus or city. With the introduction of ActiveDR, Flash Array can now also improve business resiliency across long distances with simple, continuous data replication. ActiveDR is available starting with Purity 6.0 with no additional license or fees. With an Active Evergreen subscription, you simply upgrade and you're ready to go. ActiveDR seamlessly protects application data across virtually any distance while minimizing both recovery point and recovery time objectives. Simple to configure, manage and monitor, ActiveDR streamlines disaster recovery with single command failover, intelligent and reversible failback, and non-disruptive disaster recovery testing all to accelerate business responsiveness to outages. It's time to rethink your approach to business resiliency with ActiveDR and Pure Storage. Thank you for joining this session about our latest and greatest data protection feature on Flash Array, ActiveDR. I hope you get a chance to install Purity 6 and try out ActiveDR for yourself.